What is going on everybody? It's Zach Michael here and today is going to be the beat breakdown of Deep End from Lullabies in the Trap, which is a song I produced. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So to start it off, we have a loop here that I produced in the past and we literally just dragged it in. 177 in G minor, didn't even change anything. Just drag this in. This is in one of my weekly loop kits. I make 100 plus loops every week to give it to producers. If you want those, hit me up on Instagram. But this is what that sounds like. So that's our bell melody. And then we have a little riser from a Nick Mira kit. And now let's get started on the drums. So to start off, we have this clap. Like that. We have a hi-hat. Very simple. The only thing that is different about this is between the two notes, there's a velocity change. So it just gives a little bit of a bounce because even though we're just keeping it simple with the two-step, I want to create some rhythm and some bounce. And just by raising and lowering velocities, you can do that. The next thing we have is this open hat. It just has like a little double hit there, like that. And next is the 808, which follows root notes. That gets layered with a kick. And we put all that together, and there's also a counter snare melody here, which we'll play with the claps. And so that is all the drums together. Let's go ahead and play those. All right, let's get started on the arrangement. So this is how I arrange the beat. We have a four bar intro with my tag and the little transition. And then right here we have the hook section essentially. And the first half has no snare. The second half has the snare just to create some variation. And then here we drop into the verse. And the way we're doing this is we take, like we do like a little beat stutter essentially. So for the first bar, all these drums play. Then they cut out right here. And then the, the hat and the clap come back in, they cut out again and they go back in. And next we have a new hat section where the hat goes down to A instead of C, just to pitch down a hat. And next I'm pulling out the 808 and the snare. And then it drops into four bars of just the melody. And then that repeats again and again. And then we have the outro, which has the clap, the 808, and the hi-hat come back in with a little automation. Just fade the beat out. That's how I produce this. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out LizTheRecords.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in other videos. over to elizabethrecords.net if you'd like to support me you can purchase vst expansion banks drum kits loop kits and mini kits that'll level up your production there